Hello, it's Dr. Neptune, it's again, and we're in a tree house I quickly whipped up. It's not the best in interior design, but there you go. My point is to show you my new railway track, which I've created here. Um, there are some interesting things which you can probably notice about it. Um, so, yep, so let's demonstrate that it works first. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Okay, I'll hop out. So, yep. This only works for occupied carts, um, as you can see the cart fell down as soon as I got out there. Um, but yeah, these uh, railway tracks are not supported by any blocks, they're just hanging free space. Um, each one of these is only one way, um, and you don't need any booster rails uh, for this length of track. You can keep going as far as you like doing this. Um, because the minecart is always falling. It kind of glitches from the bottom of one to the top of the other and keeps falling down and down and down. Um, so yeah, the main interesting point here I guess is that I've managed to get the floating rails. Um, I'll show you a cons consistent uh, way of doing that. Um, you can't actually make joined up rail which is why I've got this bumpy setup. But this works fine and yeah it's it's good because you don't need booster rails. Um, the only thing to note as well is that uh, as soon as there's a block update uh, next to any of these rails they'll pop up. Um, so you've got to be careful around these. Um, but yep, they're hopefully useful. They're less of an eyesore I think than having a large chunk of blocks but that's entirely up to the viewer whether you think that's true or not. Um, I think it looks quite cool. But yes, okay, I'll show you how to create it now. Okay, so the basic principle behind this is that uh, to get this rail to float over here, it needs to be pushed using just a half tick of redstone, um, a half tick pulse. Um, so this is the half tick redstone pulse generator. Um, we just need to place a block on the face of this piston. Um, when I do that, the wire will be cut here, which will mean that this wire will face into this block, powering the piston. And so the piston will extend, um, but the piston arm doesn't cut this wire, so it immediately unpowers the piston and the piston will retract again. Um, so the block will be over this uh, torch for only half a tick. Um, only powering this redstone for half a tick. Um, yeah, so I'll just place the block on here. So, yeah, so there is half a tick going on here, um, extending this. You can see that the piston is expanding even though it's not lighting up the redstone. Um, so, if I place my rail here and then I've got to place and destroy a redstone here quickly because if this piston extends again it'll update this block and pop the rail off. So yeah, that's the basic principle. You can get floating rails by just pushing them with half a tick pulse. So yeah, when we're trying to make my track though, um, we need to move this onto a uh, lot of tracks at the same time. Well, they don't need to be done at the same time, it's just more convenient to do it at the same time. So we have the same redstone tick, um, half tick generator. Um, and I'll just put rail on all of these. And yes, if we then get set this going. We need to place and destroy a redstone here very quickly. Right, and all of these pieces of rail have now been made to float as we want. Um, you note that the uh, angle of the track is preferential towards um, this direction. Um, this depends on whether you're doing it north, south or east or west. Um, there's going to be one direction which is preferred over the other. Um, fortunately though it's fairly easy to 
update this. You just um, at the end of this, if you're wanting to make um, a track which goes in uh, this direction, so you're falling down and down and down, going over this way, then that's fine. You just leave it as it as it is, um, or well, you remove these top ones, and then that's that's done. If you want to update um, the things to face in the opposite direction, it's a simple case of um, just doing another uh, tick up, placing another rail um, on each one of these, because actually them changing direction doesn't cause a bug update. Um, it's probably easier showing than said. So yeah, that's updated this one to face in the opposite direction and you just need to go along like that. Making sure you don't actually do a block update on any of the existing track. So yeah, that creates a track which would go that way. Uh, the only other thing to note is that you can only create this half tick generator when you're face when the piston is facing in a um, x direction, which is positive and negative. So I think that's north south. I might be wrong. Um, if you uh, try and set up this generator facing the other way, um, you'll just create a glitched out piston. Yeah, I'll just need to power and unpower that piston. Um, so yeah, it, that doesn't work. It only works facing in the positive, negative x direction. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you like this, then click like and um, hope, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay. Um, oh yeah, download in the description.